Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Emma and today we're diving into part two of this Target shop with me. You can watch part one by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. I'm picking up straight where I left off, so let's get straight into it. I saw these huge cushions that I thought were couch cushions for some reason when I first saw them, but they're actually floor cushions which makes much more sense. They're absolutely enormous and they have quite a nice feel to them. The Aztec patterned material is fairly thick and it feels pretty hard wearing and appears to be of fairly high quality. They are quite cushy and I feel like they'd be comfortable to sit on, soft enough and thick enough to give your butt some good cushioning. This round blue floor cushion is advertised as boucle, but I think that is a bit of a stretch to be honest. It's kind of just like a bumpy, slightly bally sort of material. This one isn't quite as firm either. It definitely doesn't look or feel nearly as nice as the other one. This other one has a brown velvet on one side and a plain sort of calico look fabric on the other side. This one definitely doesn't look or feel as high quality as the first one and it doesn't feel like it's stuffed as well either. I'm not sure that this brown color actually works out well with the velvet. I must say I'm not a huge fan of these but I will say I think these Aztec ones have the best design, look and overall feel and I actually do like those ones but they're a little pricey at $70. This large pot comes in white, a blush pink, and this beautiful sage green color pictured here. The pot has a bit of weight to it. It's made of a clay and fiberglass composite material and can be used both outdoors and indoors. It has a really nice classic shape and I am absolutely loving the matte finish. I thought this kids bookshelf was quite a nice little piece. The bottom shelves look like they would be good for general storage for toys or what have you as well as books and they're nice and low for easy access for little ones. They also have this one in a beautiful rich forest green color which looks really chic and overall the unit feels well made and sturdy. This metal white wire coffee table has a really nice simple design to it. It looks really clean and fresh with the simple lines. They didn't have one on display today, but I think this one is a pretty versatile piece that could go really well with a few different design styles. This side table has that kind of woven look to it. I think it looks rather nice and could visually be a nice statement piece. It's kind of giving me cabana style vibes. It's probably not the most practical option though if you're looking to maximize your storage space because this one obviously doesn't really have any storage. I really liked this cute little bamboo footstool. I currently have a cheap but very practical foldable plastic stool that I'm using in my walk-in wardrobe, but it's really unattractive and actually belongs in the kitchen. This one is so much prettier, but it's still very practical. I also love that it's a two-step stool and it's foldable as well. I'll definitely be upgrading to this one when I have a few extra smackles to spare. I think this roll down lunch bag is so adorable. It kind of looks and feels like a paper bag, but it's much thicker and sturdier. But I am loving that paper look. It's totally reminding me of back in the day when you used to get lunch orders in those brown paper bags. This one is quite large inside and it's lined with an insulating fabric to keep your lunch extra cool and fresh. There are so many kind of ugly, dorky lunch bags out there. I am loving that this one is practical but also looks really cute and stylish. These paper court bread baskets are also very cute. I like the fairly compact size of these too. Sometimes trays like this can be a little bit too big for my liking. You could definitely use this in the kitchen for serving bread, for storing fruit, or maybe for condiments. I also thought this would be perfect to use for a DIY gift hamper or maybe as a cute little welcome basket with some goodies inside for your guest room. 
I thought this black metal paper towel holder was a little bit fancy. It's got a very industrial vibe to it, which I love. I think black matte metal often gives a bit of a high-end feel to some pretty ordinary everyday items, especially in a kitchen setting. And I'm really liking this one. I love, love, love these ceramic jug thingies. They're actually called pourers, which makes sense. And they are part of the Fitzroy collection. They come in this beautiful matte blush color, or they also have it in this white color if you're looking for something a little bit more neutral. I just love the shape and style of these. I think they look super classy. These speckled mugs are also pretty cutesy and they come in a couple of different colors. They have quite a unique organic sort of shape to them with these slight ridges that almost makes them look like a handmade coil mug. They have quite a large sized rim and also a large handle. The soft peach colored one was very nice, but I did also quite like the white one as well. They do also have it in a pale purple if that's more your jam. I saw this plastic bowl set and I really like the color tones they've used for these ones. I find that plastic tableware usually comes in either really garish bright colors or really super boring colors, but I think these ones are just right. They're still colorful, but they come in more subdued tones, which adds a little bit of sophistication. They also have matching plates that come in the same color set and to finish off the collection, they also have these cute plastic cups as well. These would be great for barbecues or for camping or could also be a good set for the kids. This matte pink water bottle has that classic twist top design with the handle on the lid, but I really like that this one is a full one liter and it's on special for $9 and it also comes in khaki and black if you're buying online. This one with the plastic lid looks almost gray, but it's actually blush pink. It's a little bit smaller. It's only 700 mils, but this one comes in a bunch of different fun and colorful floral based patterns and designs. This dark blush one has no handle on the lid. It just has a standard twist top lid if you don't like the look of the handled lids. And this one is a tad bigger at 750 mils. It has a silky soft matte finish and it also looks really nice in this soft sage green color. I thought this glass water bottle with the rounded cork lid was pretty cool. You could use this in the kitchen or it would also look really nice in the laundry to store fabric softener. You could also use it as a vase if you like. This one looks really stylish and it's a versatile little number as well. These marble coasters are an absolute steal at 15 bucks. They have little feet on the bottom of them as well, so you don't have to worry about scratching your tabletops with these ones. They also had next door these white rattan coasters, which are all right, but I seriously couldn't believe that these cost the same as the marble ones. I would 500% choose the marble ones over the rattan ones for $15 a pop. These reusable sandwich bags and snack bags are a great idea. They have a food safe lining and a waterproof finish on the outside. They come in two sets of snazzy colors with two large and one small in each pack. They feel really nice and thick and sturdy with Velcro fastenings and would be a fantastic way to cut back on plastic in your packed lunches. I couldn't believe that Target has already brought in so many of their Christmas decorations already. I must say I was not expecting to see this stuff in store quite yet. I'll make sure to come back and check out all the Christmas stuff for you guys in a couple of weeks when we're just a little bit closer to the festive season. Watch this space. This truck basket is so unique and it's just so cute. I don't even know if this is actually meant to be a basket or if it's meant to be like a toy. I guess it could be both. I've never seen something like this before. It even has tiny little seats inside. 
These ones are $40 though, so they are a little bit on the expensive side, but they were so unique, they were definitely worth a look today. I thought these woven vases were pretty cool. They come in a large size and also in a smaller size as well. And they look quite nice together with the large and the small size. These would look really nice with some palm leaves or dried flowers inside, or just as a statement on their own. These woven pedestal bowls are very unique. They're quite the statement piece. They're definitely on the larger side, so you will need a little bit of space for this one. They're giving me kind of vintage fruit bowl vibes. Let me know how you feel about this one down in the comments. I wasn't quite sure myself. This round handled tray is also quite a large size. The handles make it perfect to use as a serving tray for a party or for a nice breakfast in bed. I was really impressed with the quality of this picnic mat. It is really nice and thick with a lush quilted feel to it. And both sides are waterproof, which is such a great feature. This will keep your butt dry and make it really easy to clean up any spills. It has handy little straps to keep it nice and compact for easy storage. And it even has a handle to make it really easy to carry around. It is a little bit expensive at $55, but it feels really high quality guys. And it is a really decent size at 160 centimeters by 180 centimeters. Perfect for the beach. They also have this matching fold out beach chair that is in the same park and coast range. It's perfect for the park or well, it's perfect for the coast, take your pick. But really this is just a really nifty little outdoor chair that is also easy to store and easy to carry. They also have this other fold up style chair. I guess this one is a bit more of like a recliner style that folds up for easy storage and portability. This is another chair in a similar design in the fact that it's sort of like a recliner chair, but it's obviously got a rounded shape to it. And it also has a long carry strap so you can sling it over your shoulder and carry it around. This last one is more of your traditional beach chair style with legs to elevate your seat off the ground a bit. It also has a carry strap and folds up nice and small for easy storage. Now Halloween is just around the corner. Now I know not everyone is into Halloween, but they do have a few stylish Halloween decorations here at Target today. I'm not really a big fan of really kitschy Halloween stuff, but these natural rattan style woven pumpkins, I think are actually really classy as far as Halloween decorations go. They have a big one and a small one, and I think these just look super cute together. These would look really nice inside the house, or you could pop them on the porch ready for all the trick-or-treaters. This spooky natural woven wreath with the little spiders inside is rather chic in the scheme of Halloween decorations. It's a nice way to add a touch of the spooky season without making your house look too tacky. This spiderweb doormat is another nice little addition to the Halloween range. Again, I think this one is a kind of a classy way to add a bit of that Halloween theme to your place. And it's actually a really high quality doormat with really nice tight bristles. This is actually good quality just in terms of doormat without it being a Halloween themed, but I thought this one was a nice little number. This rattan broom with the lights is super cute. Again, I think this one is a really classy decoration and the lights just add an extra element of flair to this one as well. Really loving this one for a Halloween decoration. That's all for this Target shop with me. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you liked this video, hit that like button. It all goes a really long way in supporting the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.